this is Gina with Gina's Crafting Spot and today I'm doing my 25th scrapbook process video and it is um, a layout about me and my girlfriend from high school and you can see I'm using Dear, it's like the best of Dear Lizzie and Amy Tan um, 8.5 by 11 papers only one sided that I got from Michaels and there's a lot of you know, well it's the best of, so there's a lot of cute um, patterns in there. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this picture and it's of us by the pool having a um, just a fruity, a fruity drink while her kids are swimming. We're just lounging around and this is again my San Antonio trip so I'm just mounting that on um, a 6x6 piece of paper. I showed you the, I think it was Atlantic. I'm trying to use stuff up that, you know, I don't usually use. So I had all these papers, I loved them all, but then I forget to use them. And that's the pier little six by six pad. So I'm looking for a color to mat our photo in and I decide on that green right there. And her favorite color is green. I decided to add a lot of green to this layout. Well not a lot but some anyway. So that's me on the left and my girlfriend Bernice on the right. And I'm just trimming that mat down. trying to decide which background papers I want. Just using my trimmer, but I'm not going to end up using those little circles. Oh yeah, I am a little bit. A little piece of it. You can't see too much of it by the time I'm done. And those are some K and Company stickers that I got on clearance um, quite a while ago and I wanted to use them. I figured this would be perfect as us lounging by the pool. Not really lounging because we're wearing, you know, regular clothes, but we're still relaxing by the pool. So I decided to cut it and then I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just keep it whole. And then I'm like, nah, let me just do a giant banner piece. So it didn't seem quite even to me, so I just kept trimming it and I should have just left it alone. Then again, deciding if I want to keep it together. And I'm using a white background, which is, um, you know, kind of rare, but you'll see at the end, I kind of fill it up anyway, so you don't see much of the white. I like color. So those are just some solids from a couple of 6x6 six six solid colored uh, uh, papers from, I think, DCWB. So I decided on that tealy, minty green, kind of. So I went ahead and, well first I used like a pinkish color on the matting for the picture and then I added the green. So then I just trimmed um, down that polka dot paper and just had it lay like I wanted. Just changing the orientation on that because I wanted to put all of the, you know, stickers and embellishments on the bottom there under our photo. Then I'm going to ink the edges. I think it's faded jeans is what it's called. A distress ink. So attaching the giant banner, but you see I'm going to pull that up in a minute. This layout took me, I think, over an hour to do, but I think it's just because I was indecisive 
and it doesn't help when I watch TV, watch Netflix, I get distracted. And I'm excited, the new program I'm watching is Glee. And I don't know, it's probably kind of old and a lot of people don't like it, but I think it's hilarious. And I love singing, so I like it. So that's what I've been watching lately. Just in case you're wondering what people are watching while they're crafting. So again, I'm just going around everything with that, the same distress ink. Again, just looking, thinking. And there I'm just looking through my scraps, see what I could use. I needed, or yeah, I wanted some more dimension on my layout. And more colors to kind of ground everything. So where I am going to be putting all of the, like the cheers and the drinks and stuff like that from that sticker pack. I just cut that into fishtails on one side and I'm going to put it, not there, it's going to go further down. I'm going to end up moving that. I'm not going to end up using that pink. So I'm just again looking for stuff, paper. I don't think I end up using any of that. I could always use them for a different layout. I wish I could speed up only certain parts of the video, but I can't, so sorry you have to sit through all this. So that's another piece of that um, same paper that I used for the giant fishtail banner. And I'm going to do a little cluster on the top right there. I mean left. ink in the edges of it. And I always think of doing it a different direction, but I always end up going up and down like that. For some reason. So that's where I decide to put that piece of um, blue, a little piece of blue with the fish tail. And that's going to be like the ground for my little scene for the lounge chairs and stuff. And I added some foam to the back of them. They weren't really sticky anymore, so I had to reinforce it and I wanted, to, wanted them to pop up a bit. I'm trying to get the positioning right. And I wanted to fit some stuff in the middle. That's why I separated them more, those chairs.
that's not going to stay. A lot of the stuff that I put isn't. That cup on the top right is going to stay. I'm not going to end up using that sticker right there that I'm touching. I'm going to end up taking that off. There's a couple of drinks I put in the two chairs. Do you guys notice that when you do a page, you kind of don't like it too much, but then if you go away and come back, it's like, oh, okay, it wasn't so bad. That's what I deal with almost every layout, for whatever reason. Because I ended up liking this. But I think it's because I added some more color to the white background. And those are just some new stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. Just putting them away. Or, I was searching for something. I didn't know what I had gotten. So there I'm trying to find letters to do my title. And of course I don't have enough of those, which I really like. So I'll come back to that in a minute. So I decided to outline everything to make it stand out because there's so many different patterns and colors here. So I just use my ruler because I cannot remotely draw a straight line. Not even straight, it's just totally, totally wonky. So I find it easier just to use my ruler. And that's just, I think, a Stampin' Up! pen or a Close to My Heart um, marker. So there's my white background. And it was just a little cluster I was able to take up. And that's a piece of Bow Bunny. It's, it's pretty old. And I decided to use that as another piece of background. I like that much better. And it kind of reminds you of the water and stuff. And I think I tend to go overboard. I try to use too much and too many colors. So I'm like, nah, it's good the way it is. I'm liking the way that's looking. So just trying to decide what I want to back it with. So that's what I'm going to go with. I'm deciding if I should trim down that blue or not. I'm not going to. I'm just going to draw my lines. I try to do one and then kind of switch it so it looks more hand drawn. And ink the edges. The same distress ink. And I didn't line it up quite right, so I just trimmed off the edge. I'm just peeling up that piece, the little cluster I had made already. So that's the way it's going to stay. I like it much better with that background. Then I had that hello piece. I'm not sure where I got it from. I just have all my wood pieces in one container. And I don't have very many, so. So 
So that says, so it's hello, and then that says libations on the bottom of the photo. I'm just looking for some, um, I have a lot of friends, either rub-ons or vellum pieces or stuff like that. So I'm just trying to see if I could use anything. But the colors don't go, so I don't end up using any of them. And those were from close to my heart, in case you're wondering. Those are more Amy Tangerine, those same sticker stickers. I want to see if there's anything I could use, and I do not believe I use anything from there. A little frame that I'm not going to end up using. And there's a green sun. See, those are my little wood veneers. That and little pot people, and that's all I have. And some bikes and stuff like that. Not very many. But I decided to put one of the little star shapes up there, and those are from close to my heart. That's a... To the left of hello is a uh, brad that says best friends. Orange color. And I'm deciding if I wanted to put um, some kind of a border on the bottom, but I didn't. I just attached them. And I don't know where I got those little stickers. can't remember. So I'm putting two potty girls on there, or pod people of girls, <laughs> for me and my bestie. Which, of course, I met Bernice back in 1986 as a freshman in high school. And, yeah, we didn't call them besties back then, but... Alright, so I'm just using glossy accents to attach that hello. And just trying to use up a few more of those pieces that were on that same sticker, in that sticker pack. Now there's a little airplane, because I did fly to San Antonio, so I figured I would use that. And a little boat, because we're by the water. Not quite a lake or ocean or anything, but we're still by water. So I decided to add that there as well. And then I put two little chicken nitty heart enamel dots on each potty person. I want to add those homemade flowers, or flowers, bows, but I don't. There is one of my arrow wood veneers to the left there I just put on. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. My journaling. So it just says, Bernice is my very best friend from high school. We were inseparable all through and even after high school when I moved to Chicago. We had stayed in contact all these years and when we were together it's like we were never apart. When I was in San Antonio visiting her, we hung out by the pool with the fruity drink. So that's all my journaling is. And the only other thing I'm going to add is, is the other part of the title. And it is poolside. And you saw those pink letters before they're block letters that look like scrabble tiles. And um, I don't know if I show it to you now. I don't think so. But maybe I'll... Yeah, you'll see it later, but it, it says, hello, li poolside libations. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.